welcome back. Okay, so we're still on New Romulus. Just want to check something because it doesn't sound like my mic is working. Checking. Okay, so it is working. missions will work today, <clears throat> especially the warehouse mission.
Okay, let's head up reputations. They just go through the salvages. have troubles? I don't remember. Yes, they all do. Stare down there. And that's not Oregon. Again.
<coughs> Let's head to the ruins. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And stuck on a rock. Let's grab all the data we can. Looks like a firefight over there. Almost done with all these errands. Let's head towards the power source mission. Of course, you had to hold me in place. Congratulations, you 
Congratulations, Admiral. Congratulations. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to the Republic Navy and earned the respect of your fellow officers. You still have challenges ahead of you, but I'm confident that you will be able to do anything you set out to do. Good luck. Thank you, Admiral. Okay, and here's the last transporter pad we have to link. Captain, these ruins are ancient. By the markings, this area would have been built around the same time as the Sundering, but the lower levels appear to be much older. I recommend we investigate deeper and see if we can learn more about this structure and its purpose. You need to be careful though, there's no telling what's down here. I agree, and I know what we're going to be facing, so... It's time to put on... Our protection. Our environmental suits. Admiral, I'm detecting high levels of toxic gases as well as stream heat ahead. Environmental suits will be required to go further. I believe those container containers nearby contain enough suits for the away team. <coughs> Just carry it. Probably right here. I mean, I never use them. Grab all these notes that I can.
Get your gunk off me. Little battles are good. I'm ready for the main course. saying game I honing you shut down this power plant. <clears throat> Admiral, something went wrong during the power plant shutdown sequence. We appear to have initiated a cascading overload. I think we can deal with it remotely. It'll take some time. Until then, you'll have to shut down power between the four relays as it increases. You have to keep at least two relays functioning. I won't be able to handle the power. Of course, I'm never going to have time to read it.
number four. There you are. Two is going Again. Captain, we collected all the data down here we can. Now the Romulan teams can get to work now analyzing this to determine exactly what down here and how we can adapt it to their use. Power plant is massive. If it's safe to use, it should provide almost unlimited amounts of geothermal energy for the entire planet. You won't be able to use it right away though as long as Tholians are here. It won't be safe for anyone down here. Are you ready to return to the surface? Not yet. New readings have been detected in the underground ruins on New Romulus. We need you to clear a path to the lowest levels and then signal us so the Titan and our scientists can investigate. Radio loud and clear, Admiral. Head researcher Ariana and I are preparing to make our way to you now. We'll be there soon. I received your signal. Thank you for calling us down. I knew we could count on you. Sir, I think I found some kind of log or recording. 
Can you activate it? I'm not sure. It has some iconography similar to artifacts found in the Isha Forest Cave. This symbol in particular looks... research to do before any of those questions can be answered. This gate is clearly inoperable. Do you believe it could be reactivated? With time, yes, I believe so. <gasps> By the elements! Do you know what this means? It means we have a chance to learn about one of the galaxy's most feared and ancient races. We couldn't have done any of this Hello, without Jack. you. As amazing as this discovery is, it pales in comparison for what you've done for our people. I could never fully or properly express my gratitude for everything you've accomplished since the attack on your colony. Because of you, we truly have a chance at starting a new life. You've helped secure our new home and given us a fighting chance at survival. There are no words that will ever fully express my gratitude. Information discovered from researching this gate will be shared with our allies. Some people would be opposed to the releasing of secrets such as these. But time and time again, you have proven that we can all work together. For a brighter future and for a better Romulus, I thank you. You've acted with great cunning and bravery, Admiral. You continue to bring us, bring our, all our people closer to achieving a new Romulan Empire. In order to properly recognize your hard work and excellent service, I've ordered a shipment of materials which will allow you to acquire some much needed equipment. I look forward to your next report and know you will be leading the way for all Romulans and Remans. Thank you, Admiral.
Okay, what's the next one? Sphere of Influence. Gateway you discovered beneath the surface of Niramas is prepared and ready for activation. Because Rama the Republic is dedicated to sharing in the Gateway and all we learn from it with our allies, we are inviting representatives of the Rama Republic, the Federation, and Klingon Defense Force to join us on New Ramos for the first trip through the Gateway. I'll be honored if you would come to join us, Admiral. Thank you. It would be my pleasure. As part of our excavations into this area, we found artifacts of much older civilization that once lived in this world. These primitive, pe primitive people appeared to share the planet with their gods and actuality, a species with a much higher technology level than their own. <clears throat> These day ones were abandoned when their gods left the world, but over time developed their own culture and technology. And they found the gateway at the Tyconian, but must have seemed something like almost magical to the day ones. Using geothermal energy, they managed to activate the gateway briefly, but the reaction was too unstable. The geothermal tap used caused a chain volcano reaction that devastated the planet. That's how that happened. Our scientists say the ash clouded the sky, dropping temperatures and dramatically altering the climate of much of the habitable land. Radiation levels spiked and many of the day ones died. The survivors were retreated to underground shelters, but it was only the end of the civilization. The flora and fauna could adapt and survive until we arrived. You were instrumental, instrumental in helping us discover the secrets of the world. Now we have found the Iconian Gateway, we feel it could be a boon to the Roman Republic. The entire galaxy will be at our fingertips. Welcome to New Romulus. I am Frenic and I serve as liaison officer for Deton. As you can see, we established the environment for this area as part of our investigation of the Gateway. Protective gear is no longer necessary and Mokarek is waiting for you in the Gateway Chamber. Well then, let's go. Commander Tiaru Jirak of the RRW Lisette. Thought she would actually read her whole her whole writing. Hi, Jack. Welcome home. We've gathered here along with the representatives of all of our allies in the Federation and the Klingon Empire to witness the dawn of a new age. Harnessing the power of this gateway will change everything for our people. Yes, we must be cautious. The Day Ones tried to do the same thing and destroy them, but we have been studying the gateway since Admiral Ashley Kerwin, which is me, helped us to discover it, and we've been, we have believed that understanding or the day ones went wrong. We now have technology and knowledge we need to successfully adapt Iconian technology for our own use. 
We have a few final adjustments to make, and then we will be ready. And Worf interrupts. You think you have corrected the issue? Consider what happened to the Daywans, and what the result would be if the Romulans lose a second homeworld. I have encountered Iconian gateways twice before. In both those instances, the finest commanders I ever served found the technology to be too dangerous to preserve. It is difficult to believe that you have managed to do what they could not. Are there problems? No problem. Ambassador Worf was invited here because of his experience with Iconian Gateways. He has been voicing his concerns with our decision to activate the Gateway. My science teams were con are convinced that they have solved the problems of the past, but I fear that, like the Ambassador, some of my engineers may have their doubts. The town and the Senate believe this important step for the Romulan for the New Republic, but it is a step that must be taken with our allies. We respect their opinions and want them to join us in this adventure. Just as the Bajorans and Federation worked in tandem on the, rom on the wormhole to the beta, Gamma Quadrant was discovered. I don't know why I can't read today. In the interest of easing some concerns, Ambassador, I'd like you to take a final check of the data. Perhaps Admiral Ashley Kerwin would be willing to assist you. I am ready to assist you, Ambassador. Acceptable. Admiral Kerrick, I want to start by reviewing your science team's work. Understood. I'm sorry, did you need something? I don't mean to be so distracted, but it's taken a lot of work and a lot of late nights to get here. Finally, we're ready. We've considered everything that could go wrong and planned for any contingency. The day ones weren't as advanced technology as we are. They hadn't even become a warp culture when they tried to repower the gateway. We have advantages they could only dream of having. There is some risk, of course, but anything worth doing has some risk. We wouldn't be attending on a new, well, won't be standing on a new homeworld for our people if you aren't willing to take on a chance and challenge the Chalciar. Chalciar, how can I help? With all due respect to you, Ambassador, I don't think there's anything to worry about. If you want, I'll review the data my team collected with you. Admiral Ashley Merwin can re review the power variance coefficient numbers. Alpha, Gamma, and Delta monitors. Maybe I need another set of eyes. I've I've had a lot of trouble sleeping. Okay, so is alpha, gamma is 47, and delta is 38. Program Were you able to find the coefficient numbers for me? Alpha is 14. Alpha is 14. That looks correct. Gamma is 47. Yes, that's correct. Gamma is 47. Delta is 38. As you can see, Ambassador, we have all the numbers in perfectly order. Does that satisfy you? And I will be remaining silent. Your numbers may be correct, but have you ever witnessed the power of one of these gateways outside of a holodeck? Well, I have. I was invited here to share my knowledge with those willing to listen. Even the best plans seldom survive contact with the enemy. Perhaps we should speak with the engineering teams. 
Yes, they've been asking for the final power variance numbers. I'm sure Commander Mayak would appreciate the newest set of data. We will speak to him next. I appreciate you speaking up about your concerns. Our projections are off at all. We could end up freezing to death in the caves just like the day ones. This gateway is an extremely valuable resource, but is it worth losing everything we built here? I have new numbers for you. Finally! You want a full-time job here? I could use some reliable help. Hmm, these aren't too bad. Better than what we had before. Maybe this will work after all. That's good. I agree that the simulations look promising, but I still have some concerns. So do I, but we're on a deadline. My team has the geothermal tap operational. With proper numbers, we can finally align the power flow to the gateway and activate it again. I'd be happy to discuss your concerns with you, Ambassador, but I need someone to help with the final commands to raise the pylons while I monitor the power levels. Admiral, could you help? All my team are busy with the tap. If we give the Ambassador and I some time to talk, I'd ask Ariana to do it, but she's got her hands full as it is. Titan invited you here, Admiral. He had good reason, and he's a good man. I trust him. If he thinks you are something important to say, we, we need to listen. Perhaps we can find a solution that will ensure the safety of all of us. Show me your projections. I'll activate the consoles and monitor the power readings. Numbers are good, but something seems off. This gateway might not be exactly like others we've encountered. Off? Agreed. Sensor readings from the gateways I've encountered were significantly different than this. Could it be because of the power source you're using? Readings like this make me wonder. You open a door and that means there's got to be something on the other side. Maybe this isn't a one-way trip. You think there's something on the other side trying to get in? The numbers aren't saying that exactly, but it's a real possibility. I understand what the gateway means to my people, but I'm concerned about what it could happen if we open it without taking more precautions. Can we add more security? Captains Sean and Corrin have been consulting with Kerarex security forces. I will ask Corrin to deploy some of her finest warriors. I do not know Captain Sean, but he commands an Enterprise. He must be a formidable man. He also has less enthusiasm for activating the Gateway than others here. I am certain he has considered all the options. I'll speak with Sean and see what our options are. There you are, Captain. How may I assist you? Do you have a moment? The team looks like it's almost done with the final checks. Make it quick. Actually, Ambassador Worf has some concerns about the gateway. And because he can't come over and chat with a Starfleet officer without raising some eyebrows on his own delegation, he's sending you instead. Interesting. Tell him by sharing his concerns about the gateway. What does he think we should do? He wants an opinion to neutralize the gateway if we need to. I'll admit, I've been dubious about this project from the start. Some things are too powerful for anyone to have. Still, it's my job to do what Starfleet Command orders, so the Enterprise is here to assist and represent the Federation. It's also my job to protect my ship and the Federation, so I've had some engineers work up some contingency plans. If Corrin is bringing extra ground troops to deal with any unwelcome visitors, that should help. My chief engineer worked up a few small spatial charges with enough power to take out the gateway. If we attach them to the base of the pylons, we should be able to stop a disaster before it starts. Don't want to use them unless we have to. We're here at your invitation after all. 
but I'd rather save your home world and deal with diplomatic consequences than see what happens if the Republic new loses New Romulus. I'll take care of it. What are you? Ah, good idea. If all the preparations are complete, I see no reason to delay. Prepare to activate the gateway. Initiating final power transfer. Power output rising? Levels are within expected parameters. Activating gateway? We've got a spike! Attempting to compensate. No good! Abort! Abort the mission! Shut it down! Detonating charges! No effect! Get everyone out of the chamber! Now what? Into the gateway! Now! I knew that gateway would be trouble. We can't get a reading on where we are or how far we've traveled. The best we can figure out is that we are not in normal space anymore. And we are trapped. The scientists have been able to get a few readings from New Romulus, but the gateway was damaged. We cannot use it to return. A few people managed to grab some supplies on their way through the gateway. They might have something useful. Check the crates. Assist with the wounded. Once we have seen to the immediate problems, then we can worry about getting out of here. Understood. A rock hit me on the head on the way through the gate. I guess it could have been worse. I could have still been there when the top of the cavern came down. I didn't mean to hit bandage. It's my ankle, I can't put any weight on it, I hope. We don't have to move too quickly, I don't think I can walk, much less run. Level 2 sprain, detected. I believe I have found a way to open this door, but it will take two of us to override the controls. I think I can open this door, but I will need your assistance. Once I override the security protocols, you will need to rewire the primary motivator to release the locking clamps. Are you ready? I am ready. Now. To see what lies beyond. Interesting. Are you detecting high trace levels of Tetrion radiation? 
My tricorder shows this to be a complex of some kind. There is another large room further down this hallway. I am picking up something beyond this door. As much as I hate to say this, we will cover more ground if we split up. Agreed. We should keep in contact as we search. Commander Ninyan will accompany me. There's a way home, we'll find it. I will accompany you. I'll organize the security detail to remain here. I'll take care of things here, good luck. And watch your back, we don't know who else could be in this place or what they want. Come, we will find the way out. I think we're in a medical facility, although it's not like any sick bay I've ever seen. Interesting, Sean. This facility is mostly automated. That doesn't mean it's abandoned. We're keeping watch for automated security. Nothing we can't handle yet, but we found something interesting in this room. Looks like some sort of targeting array, and I'll try to find out more about it. Perhaps it's a way out. Maybe it's a way to open a gateway to a location without a corresponding one on the other end. I'll check in when we know more, Sean out. Ambassador, I think we should take a closer look at that large console. Good idea. If there is a targeting system and a medical bay, we may find the equivalent of a shuttle bay as well. Agreed. This is the main control console for the environmental controls in this facility. Environmental controls can be set to accommodate a large, wide range of humanoid and non-humanoid species. Whoever uses these controls last set environment for breathable oxygen nitrogen mixture that is standard for most humanoid species. You cannot determine how long it's been since they were last activated. We have not heard from the security detail. We need to check in with them. Security detail. Answer. Are you sure something here is not blocking our communicators? This is suspicious. We should check in with Corrin and Sean's teams. Captain Corrin, come in. Corrin here. You haven't found anything in this direction yet. I'll return to our starting location and find out what's happened. Good luck, Sean. I've found what appears to be some sort of targeting system. Huh, that's strange. Captain Sean, what is it? Did you hear that? We should- Ensign, look out! Captain Sean's team is in trouble. Hurry! Running as fast as I can. No sign of Sean's team. We are not alone here. This appears to be a targeting system of some sort. With a setting for six coordinates. It shares some characteristics with a transporter. Technology is full so, so far behind beyond you that you have seen before what you are not. It shares some characteristics with a transporter. But technology is so far beyond what you've seen before that you're not sure you'll be able to operate it. This does not bode well. We should rendezvous with Korn and the others.
gone. They would not have left without their supplies or weapons. Can you hail them? Anyone? We must find Corn and the others. One of left to us is the path Corn took. We must find the answers we seek there. We need to hurry, we're all in danger here. Wait. I know this place. I have been here before. Even there's no table there. This table. I saw one just like it when I served on the Enterprise. Blood. Klingon and Ferocin. Koran put up a fight. There are data entries here that correspond to our missing people. They will be taken for examination soon. It was a Solanogen-based race, and I have seen this before. When I served on the Enterprise, we attracted attention of aliens who existed solely in subspace. They abducted us, experimented on us. We did not know why, but their actions went far beyond mere curiosity. We were able to stop them before they established a pocket of subspace on board the ship, but not before they sent a burst of energy through. If these aliens served the Iconians, that energy could have been a message. Corin was not taken without a fight. Of that I am sure. And this table has not been used yet. These aliens must be holding the others. It is only a matter of time before they will be examined as well, and the experiments can be deadly. Everyone here is in danger. We must find and free them. We'll find the others. You can hear them clicking in the background. There is a holding area down this hall. We should... Automated defenses! Defend yourself! That Guardian was damaged by a disruptor. Corin's work. We can overload the power cell from that Guardian. It should blast through the door. Be ready. There may be more Guardians beyond this door. Well, let's do it. And Warf just walks in like a badass. If I had corpse, it's not from any species you recognize. I wonder why. I don't see Captain Sean or Myatt here. Where are they? There's no more time! You need to stop wandering around this place and get back to New Rimeless. Staying here is only going to get more of us killed. No. There is still someone missing who could be saved. We are not leaving without them. He's right. We keep looking.
Sean is pale and unresponsive. His breathing is shallow and heart rate is dropped. He requires immediate medical attention. Tricolor scans show Sean's left arm and both antennae have been surgically amputated and reattached. Unknown foreign substance has been introduced to his lymph nodes and his severe vena carva has collapsed. Sean's cardiovascular and lymphs, lymphatic systems have been seriously damaged by experiments. He needs immediate medical attention. Stress the procedure is restore veins, restore circular pulmonation, and purge the lymph nodes. What? What happened? How? Can you help, Mike? A quick tricolor scan reveals Mike's blood has been completely replaced with a static liquid pulmonar. Even immediate medical attention would be no help. Mike survived so much of the loss of the homeworld, only to die here in some sort of experiment. He respect respectfully remove his communicator and identification so you can return them to the new Romulus. If you ever find if you find whoever did this to them, they won't be treated so kindly. Captain Sean? There's nothing more we can do here. If we want any hope of finding other survivors or stopping what happened on New Ramos, we need to keep moving. Ambassador? Agreed. The best way to honor Mayak's memory is to save his new home. Agreed. The Gateway Energy Signature is emanating from somewhere across this expanse. We need to find a way across. My scans indicate there's some sort of control system at work. Perhaps we can use that to activate a connection to the next platform. I'm picking up more of those automated defenses. But they're at my tricorder's maximum range, but they will be upon us quickly. The wounded are too weak to put up a fight. We'll have to cross quickly and make our stand from a position of strength. You should scout ahead. Korn and Sean will remain with the injured and defend them if the Guardian drones arrive. Agreed. Scout ahead. We will escort the others when the way is clear. I just had to take that leap of faith. The soul system, Earth. I know this doesn't lead anywhere, but I want to check it out. Is a live image of my world. Vandros 4. I remember this world. We found an Iconian gateway there during the Dominion War.
So, we must be in the Andromeda Galaxy there. New Romulus. The tectonic activity is getting worse. We must find a way to stop it. I know this planet. We should all know what it is, Iconia. Delta Quadrant? Does the Iconian influence reach so far? It was worth. I thought there was an accolade. This appears to be some sort of master control panel. I believe we can, can we access the database. We must know what the Iconian plans are. Download the data and move everyone here before more Guardians arrive. I will remodulate the power system while you reroute the flow. That's a star chart! Are all those markers Iconian gateways? Look! That's the new Romulus gateway! Yellow, blue, red. Blue, yellow, red, green. The gateway on new Romulus was reset. It wasn't the only one. Ambassador, we'll cover you as you download the data. The paths are retracting. They know we're here, and I don't think they're happy. Do you hear that? That doesn't sound good. Security reinforcements are inbound. We should use this gateway. Worf! We're out of time! Calm down, Corn. I have downloaded what I can. It is time to leave. We have cut the network's connection to the new Romulus gate, which should stabilize the situation there. There will be some damage on new Romulus, but it could have been far worse. Agreed.
This is a bridge. We have walking wounded, but some of us can still serve. Where do you want us? This appears to be a tactical console which controls the ship's shields and power levels during combat and secondary access to weapons. Captain Sean would be the most effective officer here. Sensor and deflector dish controls, although Adriana lacks combat, ex combat experience, she is the best choice for this station. This is primary weapons control. You can think of no but no one better suited for a position like this than Ambassador Wharf. This panel provides bridge control for engineering functions, including damage control. Captain Sh Captain Corin has necessary experience for this station. We have saved the Romulans' home world, but the gateways are open now. All of them. We do not know who will use them. It may be the Alachi, or it may be something far worse. We must warn everyone of what is coming. Activate the gateway and take us out. Receiving tactical telemetry. I'm detecting another gateway in the Jurette system. It's big. Ship-sized. The gateway is transmitting a high-band subspace signal. Sensors are picking up... Elachi ships on an intercept course. I suggest we go there and contact New Romulus for reinforcements. Agreed. Can we use that gateway? Not from here. I can make a gateway for us and set a destination close by, though. Do it. Taking us out. Sensors show that we are in the Jurette system. Systems are all reading normal, but... Object sighted near the ship. It is an Iconian gateway. Hell around the Republic. I'm very glad to see you all safely returned. When the quakes began, we lost all communications with the gateway chamber and feared the worst. But where did you go? Through the gateway? And what is that ship? I've never seen anything like it. I'll provide a full report as soon as I can. Suffice it to say, it opened the entire Iconian gateway Conian Gateway Network to save New Romulus. You reset oh, elements preserve us. There could be hundreds of gates, thousands. Are they all active now? There was a ship-sized gateway hidden in subspace in this system. Enough talk. The gateway is transmitting a signal. I am picking up a corresponding one from an entire fleet of Alachi ships on an intercept course. Send every available ship. We must fight if we are to survive. Sending reinforcements now. Good luck, and may the elements protect us all. We'll have to hold the Alachi here until reinforcements arrive. We will hold off the Alachi until allied forces arrive. Press the launch button to create a wing of fighters to aid... <laughs> According to our location. More Alachi inbound. Hold them off. Oh. 
time! To gain somebody! This is Commander Tiaru Jirak of the Republic flagship Lisset. Where did that gateway come from? Glad you can make it, Enterprise. The Alachi can send their entire fleet. We will not fall. And so much for that fleet. There is still the matter of what to do about the gateway. That discussion cannot be delayed. Agreed. The Alachi forces have been destroyed. No further hostiles inbound. Captain Sham, the Enterprise should scan the gateway. We need to know more. Agreed. But we should destroy that gateway now, while we still have the chance. No! That gateway is in Romulan space. It belongs to the people of the Romulan Republic. Another invading force could arrive at any moment. Afraid of a fight, Captain? Corin, prudence is not cowardice. The gateways are powerful. They may be too much for any of us to control. We should disable it before it becomes another threat to the Romulans and to us all. How is this different from the wormhole near Bajor? This is a strategic and scientific asset, and it belongs to my people. Captain Sean, if you destroy the Gateway, I can assure you that Titan will reconsider our friendly relations with the Federation. The Klingon Empire will fully support our Romulan allies in this matter. Enterprise to Captain Sean. Sir, we've been scanning the Gateway. What did you find? The Terminus is at a fixed point now. We can determine that. But then, I don't know what we picked up, but the monitors on the bridge are all showing an Omega. We're locked out of the computer, and engines are offline. We can... We need you back on the Enterprise, sir. I see. That changes things significantly. Indeed it does. I should return to the Bordescue. Worf will be waiting for you. Corin to the Bordescue. One to transport. I should return to New Romulus. Immediately. Ambassador, it was a pleasure to work with you. I wish we could have had that talk. Agreed. Another time. Send my regards to your Chief Engineer, Captain. I'll let Chief O'Brien know. Sean to Enterprise. Transport me directly to my ready room. Today was a glorious battle. You have won much honor for yourself and your allies. It seems there are larger conflicts that all of our people will need to face. If we are to survive, we may need to face them together. It was an honor to fight beside you. Are you ready to leave the system? Yes, I am. Alright, so that is the end of this stream. I am thinking about, for Friday's stream, doing something a little bit different. 
I might take a little dab into VR chat. So until then, everybody have a good evening and I'll talk to you Friday.